Hello and welcome back to another uh, Zelda. I found a couple of... I didn't explore much of the deaths off screen, but I did mark a couple of things. I found a couple of ghosts that had weapons that I didn't have. And I marked them. Hopefully... Okay, this one still has it. Like, I wasn't sure if the ghosts kept them. If I didn't, like, take them. But I guess they do. I marked something here on the map, and I'm not sh I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. It, it was a, um... I think it's a level 3 captain. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. No. 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 <laughs> oh, that guy has wind. Shit. Okay. No! Oh, God! Uh! No! Okay. You know what? This calls... You're the one. You're the problem. I'm gonna... Boop. I'm gonna boop that one, too. Oh, you have a feather! Uh, okay, that's... I need that. I do have that one. Oh, I, oh my god, you almost killed me. I would have been so mad. I think we should finally progress the story. You know what the best thing about this particular game is? That you can find the bosses in the underground. So if you, by mistake, don't take a picture of, of the bosses during the temple, you can find them later underground. I need a swallow bow and a falcon bow. Because I can take a picture of the great eagle bow... From the back of, uh, what's his face? Teb, Teb, Tebba? Oh, wait, Tulin! Tulin has a, that's a falcon bow. Oh, shit, wait, wait. Tulin has a falcon bow. I guess he doesn't get the great eagle bow until later. This guy's hair is ridiculous. Hair? Do you still call that a hairdo, or do you call it, call it a... A feather do. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, because they're... They're birds. Oh, shit. Is that a swallow? Is that, It should... I'm not sure now. Oop. Oh, this guy has... Oh, they... Okay. That guy had a... That's a, a falcon bow. And Tulin has a swallow bow. You better not despawn... Please let that falcon bow still be there. I should have taken a picture. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I don't care. I have more important things to do than save Rito Village. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Jesus, please. Oh, thank God. There we go. Every Rito bow. Ooh, Mighty Sonite Spear. Yes, uh, yes please. I don't have that one. Don't you dare. Buy me dinner first. Come on. Oh god, this is annoying! I just want to break this fucking sword. Okay, whatever. I guess that's what the feather edge is good for. No, I don't think I have that stick, you dick. Oh, I broke it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. I've never seen it like this. It's usually one of the two blocks on top. It's okay, don't worry. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool! You get it? I'm thinking it's cold. Here's the thing. I've done this temple twice. And I still don't remember where everything is. I love this temple, by the way. The wind temple is a boat. Like, you know, Wind Waker is all about boats and not actually wind. And Wind Waker is the first game where the Rito 
were introduced. And the Rito Temple is a boat. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. I can actually get like mighty the mighty weapons here, although I think the only one I'm missing is the mighty longsword. Okay. That's very good, actually. And I, I don't think I have that horn. No, I do not. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay! Bulgara. There it is. Also, the song. Bulgara's song. Absolute banger! Don't worry. Skip. Yeah, that's... The Wind Temple. Done. Maybe I can just put all the temples in one video. Get that over with. This is by far my favorite song in the game. Everything goes back to Dragon Roost Island, which is my, is my favorite track of every single Zelda game. Oh my god, I love Dragon Roost. Four main temples? I can probably do them. In one video. I don't need to show everything. I just need to show a picture of the boss. I had to buy the pants. I had to buy the pants because I didn't get the helmet or helm or whatever from the amiibo. And I don't want to look for it, for it in the game either. And here we go. Fucking hate you, Nobo, man. I saw a post on, on Reddit. Somebody asking, why, does, why did everybody like Yunobo in Breath of the Wild but not... Not in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> and most... Most of the answers, at least the top ones, were in... I didn't like him in Breath of the Wild either. Let me talk to him. I'll talk to him. I'll kick his ass. Oh, wow. I dodged... I dodged that by mistake. <laughs> Moray... Moragia. I'll take a picture of it too. And also, uh, Muk 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 uh, not Muk the Muk uh, Muk like, uh, Sludge like, Sludge like. That's that's its name, Sludge like. I do like this. Oh shit! I do like this boss fight. Like this, they should have tried exploring more with these types of, you know, boss. That was loud. Boss fights with the... With the Sonite devices. <clears throat> this is the only one. But I think I mentioned it in one of the previous videos. I do have a trick to make Mukturok way easier with devices. It at least looks like the temple itself is lit up. Which is uh, great. Because I didn't want to light any more li uh, light routes. I can just fly all around this temple and do everything. I remember the first time I had so much trouble with it. But then I realized I can just use the bike and fly to where I need to go. <laughs> it's much easier. Also, I realized last video I pronounced it cyanite constantly. And I'm sorry about that. I fucking can't fucking read. Oh my god, can you shut up? I forgot. Goma. Shut up! Goma! Oh, fuck you. Yeah, easy. Only oh, had to knock him down twice. I don't think he hit me even once. Next up, we have the Water Temple. Also, I got the uh, Fierce Deity Armor. Still weird. The light skill trident. Hey, Sidon. Sidon. You. Is that a white? Okay. Boop. Also, I did find a, a white moblin. A silver moblin with a royal hal halberd. Which I was looking for. Uh, so I need to go do that. After this, 
I will kill most uh, white Lysalfos, silver Lysalfos I see. Oh, and he has a uh, steel Lysalbo. Because those horns are really good. Before I continue, let me see if by any chance there's a silver Pokoblin boss in this little camp. Oh, there is. Okay, it is a silver Pokoblin. Okay, that one's gone. That one's also gone. Can I kill these guys too? Where are you? You're a big boy. You are ugly. That's a great... No! Oh my god, no! No! Wrong button. <laughs> oh, you have a silver... Uh, Claymore. Good thing I want that. Oh, almost. Oh, Jesus. I'm not planning on getting every heart. But as long as I can get to the second row of hearts, which... Oh, it's only two hearts away, actually. I think I'll be fine. I can already get there. I have 11... 11, uh, light... Lights, blessing, light of blessings, the the things from the shrines, and I'm gonna get another one now for twelve, so I can get three hearts plus the the heart container from the boss. Oh my god! Oh shit! It moves. Oh, ugh. these things, these things are super gross. Like Lex in the first Zelda were just like a stack of pancakes, and now they're these fucking monstrosities. Uh, I don't care about the fucking romance, dude. Just let me... Let's go to the shrine. Let's go to the shrine. Let's go. Oh my god, okay. Wow, okay. Here, take a couple more seconds there if you want it, dude. Wow, this is... Oh, it's super strong. I was going to say it's super strong, but it's only super strong because I'm wet. Also, now that I see that fire hydrant, I built... I built the device. The device that's going to help us destroy Mokturok. I did a trial run of it in my last playthrough, and it was perfect. It made the fight to tolerable because that is by far the worst... Of all the bosses in this game. What I'm hoping to do is, after this video, I should do a video of getting all the unique weapons. The, uh, Fierce Deities sword, the Hero Sword, all the, you know, all those weapons. And then make a final video with the final boss and stuff. But I do need to find those, the, you know, the rare animals and the, the rest of the animals, the rest, I need to find the fucking pristine weapons. I could just find the weapons off screen and take a picture of them, right? Like, it doesn't matter. I don't need to show every picture taken. I'm not even showing every picture taken, so why, why bother with that? Because most of these things are, you know, most of the pristine weapons are very, they're very random. They're not fun to find. So I think I'll just do that. I need you to take a walk, uh, a dive. Oh shit, a dive, a dive, a dive. Don't hit me. Just swim, swim, swim. Thank you. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> I will look for the weapons, the pristine weapons off screen. Just know that... If I find a weapon outside, you know, which I have shown most of them when I found a new one, I have broken it and I have found it in the, in the, I will find it de uh, in the depths. So, because those weapons are random, I don't want to waste anybody's time just looking for that shit. Okay. And now, for the trick. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah, bitch! 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to take a picture of it. Don't run. Oh, oh, got hit again. There it is. I need you. Please lie down. Thank you, Jesus Christ. See, that's a trick. With this thing following the shark, and if you stay, like, inside of it, you can get a, a boost on your water uh, Zora weapons. You know what? I will do something to clear away. Where's the... Where's my opals? Opals. And you are dead. That's also a good one. Like, if you use the gems, they create, a like, a large explosion of whatever element. If you use the gems with with a with a lino bow, you get multiple gems and a huge elemental explosion. So you can use opals too to get rid of a large area with a lino bow specifically. I'll explain the device just in case anyone wants it. Wants to build it. You know, if they're having trouble with Mokdrak. Okay, obviously there's uh, the cart. What's it called? Homing cart, I think. And the stabilizer. And then one of these big wheels with four hydrants. You know, when you hit it, the wheel turns and it sprays water everywhere. What I, I think what I did last time, which might work better, if you put like a stake or something in between the wheel and the stabilizer, maybe even another stabilizer, uh, you can make it taller and have a bigger area of effect. There's a fire Gliok there. And that's going to take care of all the regular Glioks. I need to kill... I need to find and kill a King Gliok. Because I'm pretty sure the King Gliok drops every horn. One of every horn. So I just need to kill one of the... Oh, shit. I just need to kill one of the King Gliok's. And I don't have to worry about killing one of every Gliok. Is that the Light Dragon? I don't think I can reach it. I think I do need to do the Deku Tree mission to get to the to the Light Dragon. Or do I? Can I get the Master Sword now before the Lightning Temple? I can probably reach it. I will reach it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the Master Sword now. There it is. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Almost. No, the Master Sword. The ma no, no, don't you dare. The Master Sword. The ma master, ma ma master Sword. There it is. This is by far the coolest way to get the Master Sword. I like the Master Sword being stuck on a rock. Like, in, in Breath of the Wild, it was pretty cool. How it was in the, in the Deku Forest. And of course, the classic... Ocarina of Time in the, you know, right there in the Temple of Time. That was fucking awesome, too. But this is pretty cool, I gotta say. And a fucking dragon. You have to go up to a dragon and grab it. That's awesome. And this is such a nice cutscene, too. Also, I haven't unlocked a single fairy <laughs> to upgrade my, my armor and... I don't think I will, because why? Why would I bother? God, the Gibdos are so fucking gross, dude. I hate them. And the Scimitar of the Seven. That's all the weapons. I just need the shield, which she doesn't have for some reason. And, like, what are they? Are they... Like, they're obviously... Insects, but are they like dead human bodies controlled by some insect thing? Or are they like that? Because they, you know, they have bones and guts, which are not, are not things insects tend to have. Right here, I can find every, ooh, and also the bow, which I did not have. Let's just go. This chick has a... 
I just noticed she has a horn, a dragon horn on her claymore. How did you get that? Ow! Can I make it? Oh, I made it! Oh, so disgusting, man. <laughs> oh, give those. Oh my god, they... I've never seen them do that. Okay, they s spit something out too. God, they get grosser every time, huh? You know, I said I was going to do it later after the temple. But since I'm already here, let me just do... There it is. Oh, that knocked him out again. Oh, shit. I can probably kill it with it. There it is. And last time I made a, a machine to use for the Gibdo Queen and it didn't work out because it kept going out of range. It, it was actually mostly to protect me from the other Gibdos, you know. I was It was meant for it to kill the regular Gibdos so I didn't have to deal with them while I was fighting the Queen. But it it was... It didn't work, so I'm not going to be doing that now. Oh, there's... Is that her... What's it called? Patricia? Can I take a picture of it? Is it gone? Please don't be gone. Oh, it's still there. It is Patricia. Hey. 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 Stand still. Thank you. Does fire work? Oh, it does work. Also, this one actually looks like a bug. I guess the middle section kind of looks like bones, but it doesn't look like a skeleton like the regular Gibdos. So that I I, the, I want I want it to be a, you know my theory that the Gibdos are like human remains that are control being controlled by some kind of bug parasite thing. Oh! Oh, I can just break it by throwing it once. Okay. Oh, a level 4! I think that's all the constructs. And that's everything from the constructs, actually. I have every single Zonite weapon and every construct. Including the uh, Flux constructs. By the way, I'm... I'm wondering now... If you watch my other playthrough, my first playthrough, you can see that I accidentally, like, went up into the boss room before actually doing the the temple. I didn't go in. I just, I, I came back down because I wasn't sure what would have happened if I had, you know, if I was going to be stuck up there or what. I mean, I guess I could have teleported back down. But I wonder if I can just go up there. I don't I don't need Riju to kill the Gibdo Queen. I can use I can use the fire fruits. Oh no, I do need her. I do need her because she, uh, you you need to blow up the uh... Shut up, I'm talking. She I need her to destroy the podge. Don't interrupt me. I need to destroy the pod where the Gibdo Queen is, so I guess I do need Riju. Never mind. Ow. Also, you know what would be nice if I had maximum attack power? Oh, come on. I was right there. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. There it is. Easy. Easy. And I'll, can I grab these? Oh, I can grab these. I didn't know this was here. Scimitar of the Seven and the Daybreaker. There it is. That's the last thing I need from here. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. That was a lot. That was... 
a lot. Every boss, or at least the b temple bosses and the mini bosses before, every sage weapon or champion weapon, or whatever, and a couple of extra things. Okay, that was a great, great haul. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.